You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, YNR fans, it's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and we need to talk about what is going on with Kyle Abbott, because the problem seems to me that there is a lot not going on with Kyle Abbott. And it has me wondering what they're going to do with him and whether he might exit the CBS soap opera. So before we unpack all this, though, please click subscribe if you have not. And now let's discuss the fate of Michael Mueller and his character on Young and the Restless. If you recall, YNR wrote out both Kyle Abbott and Summer Newman in like the late 20, 20 teens, like 20, I don't know, maybe even 2021. That was back when it was still Hunter King in the role. They packed them off to Italy along with Kyle's biological son, Harrison Locke. But then mid-March 2022, so almost two years ago, they brought Michael Mueller back onto YNR on contract, said it was going to be long term, and they recast Summer with Allison Lanier since Hunter King was not coming back. So when they said that Michael Mueller would be on long term in so opera parlance, that to me should equal a two-year contract, in my experience. They don't write a lot of three-year deals anymore unless it's a big fish like Eric Braden or if they have hired somebody away from another soap, something like that, like how they did with Michelle Stafford. And one year definitely isn't long-term, so that's why I'm thinking two years. So that means... Realistically, right now, at this moment, Michael Mueller's contract may be up for renewal. He started in March 2022. If it were a two-year deal, that's March 2024. So my question is, are they going to renew his contract? Are they going to keep Kyle around? Because it sure seems like he has been written basically into a storyline corner with not a lot of room to wiggle and nothing, nothing interesting going on his life. Um, You know, they got plenty of recurring characters that have more gripping things happening than what's going on with Kyle. So I'm just insatiably curious to know if they're either going to dial him back to recurring maybe or, you know, take a break when his contract is up next month. I would definitely like to see Kyle Abbott stay in Genoa City, but only if he's got something going on. And right now what I'm seeing is not very interesting, not very soapy, and to me, not very sustainable. So let's talk about some of the problems with with Kyle on YNR real quick. First thing, of course, is Kyle Abbott's love life. He does not have one. We just had him and Audra Charles calling it quits. But I mean, that was not a big romance. That was a rebound heavy on the sex. And it had a side of business intrigue, a whole bunch of sketchiness since Kyle took up with Audra the same exact day. He told Summer he wanted her to leave their home for lying about her mom not being dead. I mean, he was, he told Summer to leave and within the hour was in Audra's bed undressed. Sketchy, sketchy. And there are no other irons in the fire when it comes to Kyle's future romantic prospects. There aren't even a lot of women available to him that are age appropriate and single. I did a couple of standalone videos about who Kyle might be paired with. One of the ones I discussed as a possibility would be Claire Grace Howard, of course, played by Haley. Aaron. They're pretty close in age and Newman Abbott pairings are always pretty interesting and soapy, but it's going to be a minute before Claire is ready to date. She's still in a mental hospital. She's still dealing with the PTSD of her crazy aunt and her, you know, non-traditional insane childhood. So while she is single and the right age, not in a good place to be dating. At one point, I also wondered whether they might pair Kyle with Dr. Elena Dawson. I don't think she's on contract anymore. I'm pretty sure that they backburnered her to recurring. We literally never see Elena. Brittany Sarpy is busy with a lot of other projects. And Elena hasn't had a storyline basically since Nate cheated on her with Victoria. And that's been <laughs> close to a year, I think. And YNR generally doesn't announce when they drop people back from contract to recurring, but I do suspect that might be what happened with Brittany Sarpy. I also don't see Kyle reconciling with Summer Newman. I mean, let's face it, she is hot and bothered over Chance Chancellor, and I don't think Summer would walk away from Chance if Kyle said he wanted to reconcile. I feel like that ship sailed for her because for quite a while she begged him to take her back and he rebuffed her while sleeping with Audra on the slide. 
lie and lying to Summer. And then, of course, she found out he'd been sleeping with Audra and it was so messy. And for all those reasons, I don't see a Skyle reunion ahead, at least not right now. In addition to Kyle having zero prospects on the romantic front, there is also trouble for him on the professional front as well. He was over at Newman Media and then he was entertaining some sort of sketchy betrayal offer from Tucker McCall, where he was offering him the CEO seat at Jabot if he would help him take it over. Now that's over and we have Kyle back at the family business, but he's being a real pain in the butt at Jabot. Kyle isn't happy because he wanted to be co-CEO with his dad. And instead of putting him in the co-boss chair, Jack Abbott put Diane Jenkins beside him, running the company like a king with his queen and their spawn. Little Prince Kyle is the COO, the chief operating officer. And let's be real, that's a really good position for a guy his age, but he wanted to take Billy Abbott's place and be co-CEO and his mom got it instead. And despite the fact that that's his mom, Kyle's being a real jerk about it. He keeps criticizing Diane about work, trying to go around her, trying to one up her, trying to, I don't know, take away some of her power by overstepping into her arena. She sees what he's doing. She's tried to have civil conversations with him about it, but Kyle is being... To me, what I think is just a spoiled brat, you know, he's a Nepo baby. None of this is a good sign. So I could totally see Jack telling Kyle maybe he should go to Paris and help Ashley Abbott run that division of Jabot. Just to be clear, I am not saying that Michael Milor has been fired. I am not advocating for YNR to let him go. I am just calling attention to the fact that his contract should be expiring within the next four weeks and there is nothing significant on the horizon for him. Literally, his only function on the CBS soap right now is to complain that mommy has a better job than he does. What I do think is the best thing for YNR is to keep keep the actors and replace the head writer. I mean, Josh Griffith is not doing top-notch work right now. I give him kudos for bringing in Colleen Zink as Jordan Howard. I don't even mind the retcon of them resurrecting Claire because I really like Haley Aaron. I think she's a, an amazing get for YNR. But if there is not some kind of regime change or shakeup with the writing of this show, it doesn't matter how talented the actors are if they're not getting good material. And I absolutely hate it, but if The Young the Restless is not going to write decent material or any material really for Michael Mueller as Kyle Abbott, then maybe he's better off chasing primetime roles or a streaming series, you know, because he's not getting a lot from the CBS. So let me know what you think and what you would like to see YNR do with Kyle Abbott if he sticks around. Definitely drop your comments and please click subscribe if you haven't and come back soon because we are here talking YNR seven days a week. And as always, it is Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.